Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I appreciate you stopping by for a visit today, and I am happy that I am here with you today. It's Tuesday, and so that is the day I share my mandala blanket updates. No matter what I've got done, no matter if I'm embarrassed because I haven't gotten anything done, which could be the case, <laughs> but um, I work on this blanket um, off and on throughout the week, and then on Mondays I usually work on it a lot, and then on Tuesdays I share um, my mandala blanket and what's going on with it and everything. So anyway, here is my mandala blanket update. Um, there's my little heart patch that I put on there. And you can see these last row is in pink. So here is the blanket. I'm going to try to hold it up. And then there is the last part of it in pink. And so I am... I just completed row 45, so I'm ready to restart row 46. Um, but anyway, so I have five more rows to go. Now, keep in mind, I don't know how many stitches it is right now. I forgot. I did look, but I've forgotten. Um, but it's a lot of stitches, and it takes a long time to get all the way around this blanket. So one row... Um, around could take a very long time. I don't do it in one sitting. Trust me. <laughs> I take a nap in between, <laughs> in between the row. Um, but you know, I'll work on it a little while and get a section done and then do something else that I need to do, whether it's in the house or, um, take a nap or, you know, go somewhere or just whatever is happening. And then I come back and do another section and, you know, I'm just doing it in little sections at a time. So, um, but it does take a long time to get all the way around there. <laughs> and each time you're add just some rows, you're not adding stitches. Like a couple of these were just straight, um, what do you call it? Double crochets where you didn't make any increases. But then, you know, a lot of times you're making increases each time. So the next row has even more stitches. And, you know, you're increasing so that it spreads out and lays flat. But anyway, it is fun to work on this and just to watch. Like, it's fun to see, like, oh, what's my next color? And then it's, uh, okay, what stitch is it going to be? You know what I'm saying? So it is fun because it's a surprise for me because I don't know. I don't normally look ahead. Um, today I did look ahead to see what color came next just because I wanted to pull the color and put it on my desk so that it would be convenient to just start the next row. <laughs> so I know that my next color is white. So anyway, um, I don't know what the stitch is yet. I, I didn't look forward. I didn't look ahead to that. But anyway, yeah, I'm loving how this is turning out, and I'm loving seeing everyone else's blankets. So I have a couple blankets that I'm going to pop in here and share with you guys. Um, one is from Christine. She finished her blanket, and it is beautiful, just gorgeous. Deborah finished a blanket that is, I mean, astonishing. And Vicky's blanket is looking wonderful there. It looks awesome. And then we have Susan's blanket, which is also very beautiful. They're all different, but all beautiful. And so I want to thank these ladies for sending in their mandala um, photos. And if I missed anyone's email, I'm so very sorry. If you send me an email about the mandala, please put in the subject line, mandala, <laughs> so that I will be able to find it. But um, there's just so many emails there that I don't know if I missed any. I hope I did not. But if I did, please forgive me and just know that I looked. <laughs> but anyway, um, I love everyone's blanket 
and um, Nova Gnome Creations. She has also been working on a blanket, so I will leave a link to her channel below. And April Be Wild by April Lee has also worked on a, um, a blanket, and I'll also link her below. Their blankets are just gorgeous, too. Now, Nova and I are using similar colors. We're actually using, you know, like a rainbow I guess you'd call it basic primary colors. I'm using some variations. She is using um, black or I'm using white. And so our blankets don't look anything alike. Like you would think, oh, that's going to be, you know, their blankets are going to look exactly alike. They do not. Um, no, Nova's blanket looks awesome. I think my blanket looks awesome. <laughs> and April used totally different colors. She used more... Um, pastels and light colors and um her blanket just made me think of spring or easter but they it turned out really really well what is it ginger you want to come say hi can you oh you can't they can't see you they can't see you <laughs> this is ginger she's a rescue dog she's elijah's dog um she came from the shelter and she is um very spoiled and she thinks I'm supposed to give her all my attention. And Phoebe thinks I'm supposed to give me give her all my attention, too. <laughs> okay, guys. So, I'm going to pop in a photo of um, Christine, Deborah, Vicky, and Susan's blankets. And I hope that I have them all labeled correctly. Sometimes I have trouble keeping up with things like that. But, um, and then I have a clip where I am working on my blanket. I was finishing up this pink row and just chatting about Big Daddy's doctor's appointment and how our Monday went. It was a Monday, Monday. That's all I can say about it. I'm glad today's Tuesday. <laughs> um, new day, new outlook. <laughs> So, it's Tuesday, and I am getting on with life. So, anyway, guys, I appreciate you all watching, and um, I hope you enjoy the crochet and chat. And I will see you again in the next video, friends. Hey friends, so I'm working on row 45 of my mandala blanket and I will tell you that I'm really enjoying working on this blanket and I hate that I didn't get to work on it on Monday because that's the days I usually spend, um, you know, working on this blanket a good amount of time. But today on row 45, the color selection is supposed to be color A and so for my color A I have a variegation where I can choose either red this bright pink that I'm using now or a light baby pink and so I couldn't decide which color to use next so I took all three colors in there and the blanket to Big Daddy and I said okay you pick <laughs> which one of these and he said not red not baby pink <laughs> he said the bright pink so that's what we're using on this row and i'm almost completed with this row not too much more to go around but i have been enjoying working on this very much um it's very relaxing just working on this and this row row 45 is actually all troubles so you know there is the wrapping of the hook twice before you crochet like that so I don't know I just am enjoying this row particularly 
it's just repetitive and um, relaxing to me and like I said I'm just going slow I'm not trying to like speed through or anything like that I'm enjoying the process so yesterday was Monday and Monday was a Monday <laughs> for sure first off I did not feel well when I got up I didn't get sleep I was refluxing um, the little bit of time I was in the bed and so um, I didn't get sleep and so I felt really bad and I could tell that when I looked back on yesterday's videos um, I could tell like the videos were like you, I could just tell how bad I felt watching the video I wasn't myself in those two videos that I put out yesterday but anyway you know I'm a push through kind of girl like okay this is what I got to do today no matter how I feel so I got ready and we went to the hospital for Big Dad Daddy's appointment um, and so we we got to the hospital and um, so all of a sudden now they're saying you have to wear a mask in the hospital again they had dropped that <clears throat> but now they're back to wearing masks so when you go in there's a table set up and there's two girls there and they're passing out the mask and it's the regular masks that are like blue on one side and white on the other side <clears throat> just the very common mask that you know a lot of people wear so we get our mask and we step to the side out of you know traffic um, as people are coming in and we put our mask on and then we continue on our way around to the clinic area where Big Daddy's appointment is and so we get around there and he registers and um, we get seated and everything well it wasn't just a few minutes and my whole face started just burning stinging and itching and it was just oh my gosh I could have clawed a couple of layers of skin off my face and so I pulled my mask down on my neck and was just kind of rubbing my face I didn't want to scratch it so I was just kind of uh, rubbing it because um, it was on fire stinging itching I mean it was horrible well then my neck started doing it because I had the mask down on my neck and oh it was it was horrible I was about to come out of my skin so I went to the bathroom and got wet paper towels with cold water and um, you know kind of patted my face and washed my face off trying to get some relief I don't know if it really gave me relief but at least I was trying something right <laughs> And, um, I guess the cold water did help some. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But anyway, then I had to put the mask back on to go back out into the hospital. So, who knows. But, yeah, I don't know what the deal was. I've never had a reaction like that to mask. But it was some horrible mess. I didn't do that right. It was a horrible mess because my face was just stinging. And then I had to put the mask on actually to leave the hospital. But as soon as I walked out of them doors, I snatched that mask off. It was just crazy stinging. Anyway, so we ended up running over to the Agricultural Center. And I did pick up a book for the uh, fair entry categories they had those in so I picked up my book and I've been combing through it looking at the different categories and thinking about what I could enter uh, Big Daddy's doctor's appointment went really well um, his back pain is bearable now it's you know a, a tolerable pain so he's not just like um, you know in excruciating pain so it is tolerable but um, anyway this particular 
doctor that he has seen. Actually, she's a nurse practitioner. She is so super nice. I really just love her. And she um, has changed up his medications and gotten him um, his blood pressure under control. And his sugar is a lot better. And I think she might have changed up one more thing with his medication yesterday. But she's getting him all on track. So I really appreciate that about her. And even when we were walking out this time, he said, I really like her. Now, I've been saying it all along. <laughs> but I really do like her, too. And he does. So, that counts for a lot. So, um... Yeah, we went and picked up the book for the, um... Agri it's the Ag Center for the fair. And I picked up an extra book and dropped it off to my, um... Friend Erica... The one who I've mentioned before that has seven children that she homeschools. And so, I took her a book by so they could um, know the categories and stuff. And her kids can gather up things that they've done to enter into the fair. And then we came home and my face was still very itchy and just a um, miserable feeling. So I took Benadryl in hopes of getting some relief on my face and went to bed. And um, I did get some relief eventually from my face, but I couldn't really sleep because I was still refluxing. And my reflux medication is just doesn't even touch it. does not even touch it so anyway but I did get a little bit of sleep and just rested pretty much the rest of the evening because I felt so groggy from the Benadryl <laughs> and plus I hadn't had sleep so that's why I didn't finish this round on my mandala blanket so I'm working on it now and we're just I'm just dragging you along with me to visit and keep me company while I am working on this blanket. But um, I'm excited about the things that I can enter into the fair. So this particular blanket will go in crocheted bedspread. That's what I'll be entering this blanket in. I've got to go through my makes. I have some bo um, Rubbermaid totes or Sterilite boxes, whatever. I've got to go through those boxes and um, pick out things that I want to put in the different categories. I don't know if I did that right. And I better go back and just kind of check. Make sure they're all looking the right. I think so. I think I'm on track. I don't have much more to go. And I'll be finished with this round. And hopefully next week I will get to work on this a little bit more. I am, think I'm going to make it a priority to work on this more this next week. Um, usually the biggest day that I work on this is on Mondays. But um, this Monday, you know, was spent at the hospital. And last Monday, my son, Dakota, came over, and so I spent that day with him. So I feel like my blankets got neglected for two weeks now. <laughs> but, you know, it's coming, it's coming. I'm on row 45. There's, um... So I'll be on row 46 next, and there's only 50 rows. It just takes a while to get around each row because, you know, the blanket's pretty large now. So I hope to finish it up soon. Um, you know, I'm not really in a big rush to finish this blanket because it is so relaxing. 
and I am enjoying it uh, very much. I know I will be starting a new one soonish. Not not right right away, but it'll be in the back of my mind of starting a new blanket. And Nova has been working on her blanket and it looks awesome. And I have a few people's blankets that I'm going to be sharing photos of. And I just love everyone's blanket. They all look so very nice. It just amazes me that each blanket is like, oh, that's gorgeous. And then I see another picture of somebody else's blanket and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this. It is so pretty. <laughs> so you really cannot go wrong. You really cannot go wrong. I'm not really trying to convince anybody to make the blanket. I'm just saying, if you're intrigued, or if you have a little bit of interest, but you're just not sure, just give it a try. You can always rip it out. You can always just, um, you know, change your mind if it's not for you. There's no yarn police that's going to come along and find you for not enjoying it or doing it. But I tell you what, I really do enjoy working on this blanket. And you can see that this is really just cupped up a lot, but it eventually does lay down after you get um, all the rows on here. It does lay down and stretch out. The first time I made this blanket, that did concern me and worry me a great deal because when I was looking at Mikey's video, his did not look like it was cupping up like that. And so I thought, oh, I've messed up somewhere. Like, this is not going good. But um, in the end, it all laid down perfectly and turned out really nice. But it has been a good experience making the blanket. I have several color schemes that I would like to give a go. But, um, you know, we'll see. I have so much I want to crochet. It's like I run out of time. I mean, I do get a lot of crocheting done. I do know that and I realize that. But there's still, like, a lot of things I want to make. Like, I wish I could crochet you know, three or four whole items a day when I'm doing good to get, you know, one item completed a day. And that's pushing it really hard. I know that's not the average um, because I am pushing it. And last night I was sitting up in here trying to push to get this row done and I was so sleepy. It was ridiculous. I was like, what am I doing? Go to bed. <laughs> so I did lay down and get a little bit of sleep. But I am almost finished with this row. Not too much more. So today is Tuesday. Big Daddy's at work. Um, Elijah works today. So I'll be home by myself. But I'm still feeling so groggy from my Vistaril. Well, Benadryl. I took Benadryl yesterday. Um, I'm still feeling pretty groggy for that. I feel like I haven't slept it off yet. So I'm probably going to lay down and nap a little bit. Not only that, my legs and feet are super swollen and I've got to get my legs up. Um, I haven't had been having problems with them swelling. Like, I mean, I have before, but here lately they've seemed to be um, not as swollen as they have been in the past, but just the last couple of days they have just swollen up 
really bad to the point that it's a bit painful. So I think I'm going to um, lay down and get my legs up a lot today. So that makes, I can't lay down and crochet. I have not mastered laying in the bed and crocheting. That's just something I, I gave it a go and it was like very, very awkward for me and I could not do it. So if I do, well, I'm not you know, I am going to end up in the bed today. <laughs> but, um, so I know I won't be getting a lot of crocheting done. But, you know, that's okay. We have to take care of ourselves and do what needs to be done. Sacrifice crochet time <laughs> for, for health. That's what I'm doing today. <laughs> well, I hope you all have a great day. And I... Just am so thankful for each and every one of you. I'm thankful that you come along and watch my videos and just hang out with me and listen to me ramble. I appreciate that so very, very much. Um, Y'all are the best. Y'all are the best by far. I think I have the best yarn friends of any of the yarn content creators. There, I said it. <laughs> oh, just being silly. Okay, so I'm going to cut that. Oh, and now I'm checking to make sure they're right. I should have done that before I cut it. But they do look right. So I'm very happy with that. There, I've completed, completed row 40. Five, right so my 40 row 46 I'm just gonna look and see what color comes next row 46 the next color is white and according to my list the more I did my colors my B is white so that's what I'll be doing next is a white row so you can see every now and then white does pop up and I think for Nova her B row her B color is black so where I use white she uses black but basically we're using the same colors of yarn um, except she's you know using the black and I'm using the white but her blankets look totally different but yet they both look awesome I mean, you really just cannot go wrong with this blanket. Alright guys, I'm going to let you go for real. <laughs> and I will see you all again very soon. Bye friends.